So the other day I was talking with a customer about velocity limitations for my 3.8 SR500 plus coyote target. Like many hunters, uh, coyote hunters, he must have a screaming fast rifle because he asked if he could bump up to a thicker material to handle the velocity better. I explained to him that it didn't work like that, uh, but as they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. So to demonstrate that, downrange I've got two four inch gongs set up. The yellow one is half inch SR500 and the white one is 3.8 SR500. I'm going to shoot both with my 22 250 at 100, 150, and 200 yards, and then we'll compare the actual damage to see if spending the extra cheddar on the thicker steel is really worth it for those ultra fast rounds, or if it's like I say and it doesn't matter. So I've got velocity data from previous testing, so I know exactly how fast those rounds are going at the impact based on those distances. Uh, so I'll put those up on the screen and uh, we can just get to it. All right, we're out here at 150 yards now. We'll put a couple rounds on target. All right, we'll go back to 200 now. All right, we're back here at 200. We'll see if I can even hit those little guys. Nope. There we go. Now that I finally got my hits, Let's go take a look at the target and see what it looks like. All right, so here we've got the results. Uh, this one right here is the 100 yard impact. And uh, looking at it, it looks like the uh, crater on the half inch is actually a little bit deeper. That's going to be because uh, likely, I mean, there are variations, slight variations in how hard the steel is and how it's gonna react from uh, target to target. But um, uh, in theory, this uh, half inch target with more mass is going to have more inertia. So it's gonna wanna stay still longer than this one, than the 3 8 one is gonna give more readily. So uh, this one is going to absorb more, more energy. The, uh, the half inch one is gonna absorb more energy. So it's going to um, uh, pit slightly worse. Uh, here we have the 150 yard impact. They both, uh, it looks like the same thing. It looks like the uh, 3 8 one fared a little bit better than the half inch, left, uh, left a little bit worse pit, both going too fast for that distance, uh, above 3,200 feet per second, uh, just a little bit. And then uh, here we have the uh, 200 yard impacts where it basically just took the paint off. There's no, uh, there's no pit or no crater at all. So uh, as you can see, the half inch doesn't fare any better when it comes to dealing with those high velocity rounds. So really not a consideration when you're looking at getting a target. Uh, for the vast, vast majority of people, this 3.8 is gonna, is gonna be the best uh, option for them.